this polymer frame FNX45. It's an extremely accurate pistol. I have never taken a 45 caliber handgun to the range and shot it as accurately as I have this FNX45. Aside from the 1911 type pistols. It has a great feel in the hand and it's highly ergonomic. With that aggressive checkering that it comes with, you cannot get a round that is off target. This is manufactured in Columbia, South Carolina by FNH USA, which is a division of Fabrique Nationale de Herstel, originally from Belgium. The FNX45 is the commercialized version of the FMP pistol, which was developed by the Joint Combat Pistol Program for the military. The differences between the FNX45 and the FMP are very minimal. Uh, some of the parts on the FMP are all metal versus the FNX, which has now used polymer to replace some of those parts. However, the gun is pretty much identical. The pistol is a double action, single action, and its controls are fully ambidextrous. The frame is available in black with stainless steel barrel or flat dark earth with a black finish on the barrel. The magazine holds 15 round and it actually comes with three in a box, which is excellent. Very little pistols out there come with three magazines right out of the box. The sights are a fixed three dot combination, which is perfect and it gives you a very good side alignment picture. The barrel is 4.5 inches in length and for about $809 you can get your hands on one of these FNX 45s. This will not serve as your daily carry or concealed carry pistol. This is a full sized frame pistol. It's a little bit on the heavy side when it's fully loaded and this is why it might be uncomfortable for you to conceal carry. However, if you find a way and you really want to carry it, I guess you could. After all, there are people out there concealed carrying 1911 and full sights pistols. This gun is also available in a tactical version. The tactical model features night sights, a longer threaded barrel, a slide cut for mounting optics, and magazines with a larger base plate. Some of the features include a stainless steel construction slide, with an external extractor with loaded chamber indicator and a front and rear caulking serrations. As I mentioned before, the frame is polymer and comes with replaceable steel rails. It also comes with two interchangeable back straps for those of you who have larger hands and those back straps come with lanyard eyelets as well. It has a military standard 1913 accessory mounting rail and a serrated trigger guard. Operating controls are all ambidextrous. Decocking, safety lever, slide stop lever, and magazine are all ambidextrous. So all you lefties out there have an option. The magazine is a very good quality magazine. It's a polished nickel coated steel body, low friction follower, and a polymer base pad. However, this is one of the bigger differences between the FNP and the FNX is the fact that the magazines cannot be used on either firearm. So if you have an FNP, your magazines will not work with the FNX and vice versa, which is a huge downside for most FNP, FNX users. The weight of the gun when it's empty is 33.2 ounces. The width is 1.58 inches and the height is 6.3 inches. The barrel length is 4.5 inches and the overall length of the pistol is 7.4 inches. As you can see, the takedown of this handgun is very easy and does not require any tools, which is a huge plus. If you're in the market for a 45 caliber pistol, 
I highly recommend that you get your hands on an FNX 45. Try to head over to your local gun range and see if you can handle one as well as shoot one so you can see the low recoil on a 45 full size frame. It's amazing. It's really good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and as always, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share this video with others. I also want to thank all those of you who have recently subscribed to my channel. I appreciate the support and look forward to getting to that 100 subscriber mark where I will be doing a giveaway. Until next time, shoot safe.